Okay guys, so welcome to show. It's me again, Paul P. It is right after Halloween. Yes, I know. I only vlogged last week for Halloween and I didn't ever vlog the week after. I had a few items I had to take care of. Specifically, scheduling my second dose of AstraZeneca. Yes, I know it took three, no, no, almost three months, yeah, to the date for me to get my second dose. Now, what are we gonna do today? We are going to make something that I wanted to make for Halloween. Not specifically horror food, but something that I could give to kids and maybe some parents. It'd be a hot pot or an older sister. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. long story short, it's gonna be. Dulce de leche toffee covered with chocolate. And we're going to be using Calibao chocolate and we're going to make our own Dulce de leche. So, tara, let's get to the kitchen. I'll show you how you make it. See ya. Okay, let's start by making the Dulce de leche. We will be pressure cooking a can of condensed milk for two hours. Make sure there's no label. Oh, I dropped it. Stand it up and seal the pressure cooker. Now we're going to pressure cooker for two hours. After that, we have to let it cool naturally. Okay, that's it. Now let's do the toffee. Add our two cups of sugar, scrape everything out, and then we're going to add in our dulce de leche. It has cooled. Look at that, look at that color. Nice and caramelized. We're going to simmer this and reduce it a bit. And then we're going to add in some butter. Now, we're reducing this to thicken it and to emulsify it to make it a toffee. There, you add your butter. Now we have to stir this completely on low flame so that it won't burn. Next, we're going to add in powdered milk. We're going to stir it completely until it's fully dissolved and we're going to let it thicken some more. See? You know it's thick enough when you put your scraper against the pan and it forms a line. Now we're going to let this cool on a silicone mat or a silk pad. There. You can also use parchment paper but a silk pad works better. There, let it cool completely and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, once it's cooled, we're going to form balls. Cut it into bite-sized pieces and then roll it in your hands. Make sure your hands are clean. And those are balls. Okay, next, we turn off the boiling water we put in our chocolate. We're going to melt this, somewhat temper it, so that it can coat the toffee balls pretty well. Once it's fully melted, add more chocolate and stir it slowly to encourage the bloom. Okay, or the crystals. There. Once that's done, we're going to set it aside. Look how silky that is and glossy. Okay, we're going to now coat our balls with the chocolate. There. Make sure it's nice and glossy and nice and melted. We have a clear film, also known as acetate, so that when we put the chocolate on, to have a nice flat surface at the bottom. Okay, we get a wooden skewer. Stick one of the balls on the wooden skewer. And we're going to roll it on our chocolate. There. Roll it good and then we are going to put it on our acetate. We are going to repeat this process until all the chocolate balls are gone and they are fully coated. Don't worry if there is a mark like that, we can cover it with more chocolate later on. And that's it. Those are our chocolate bonbons.
Okay guys, so I finished making the bone bones. Covering it with chocolate was kind of a challenge because you had to get each one of them in a toothpick or a skewer, dip it in chocolate, and then tap it until it falls off the falls off the stick into a acetate or a plastic film. Now, here's the catch. In my in one of the balls that I made, there was a dent on top because of the stick. Secret to that is you have to dip the stick back into the chocolate and then top it off just so you cover that dent. Okay, so here it is. Here's the final product. Look at that. Nice gooey balls. Nice brown balls. Just kidding. But chocolate's melting. It's beautiful. I'm gonna pop this one in my mouth. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very chewy. It's what you call a dentist's nightmare because it sticks to your pasta and get or your filling and falls out. <laughs> Not overly sweet. The dulce de leche is quite sweet but I use bitter chocolate around it or dark chocolate which actually balances out the sweetness <laughs> I can't talk with this thing in my mouth I'm gonna keep it here oh I like, it look like I have mumps <laughs> so flavor wise not too sweet just right it takes a while to chew though because of that very gooey dulce de leche and the nice thing about this is if you give it to your friends I'm sure they will remember you and it's actually a good thing to sell for Christmas or New Year specifically New Year because it's round and it's chocolatey okay so I do hope you try and make this at home it's easy to make you just need a pan and you just need this uh, sail pad or a actually you can use it you can use parchment paper on that but I prefer the sail pad you can make this at home make it to a business and mm. it's really toffee or it sticks everywhere okay I'm gonna finish this and see you in the next vlog I still hope I have teeth by then. Bye-bye.